Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. This thing's gotta go up chilly end, right? Buy it off the Mesa. Yeah, not the Mesa. Buy it off the the Warstock site before it got taken away. I think that's a that's a true statement, right? They took this off the Warstock. Yep, you still get a Boxville. Can't get a Jeep. Because that makes lots of sense. So, that's interesting. It doesn't quite fit, does it? Okay, well, we're going to rev it up. I think it's identical to the Merriweather one, but I don't know. Kind of torn on this because there's an undercover Jeep. It probably shouldn't have lights on it. So let's let's let it go. There'll be a sort of a slightly higher what you call it center of gravity due to game's physics. But it just doesn't make sense to have this thing, you know, just have constant lights on the bottom. You should be able to run dark. Should be able to put the turbo on too. Bulletproof. We're just doing the basics here. The idea here is that in you know an agency like this, you would have something if you wanted to infiltrate, you know, a Merriweather group or something like that. So it's an infiltrator. And if the bulletproof tires would just come back on order here. There we go. Windows, I will not break the, the light smoke rule on this one. Though the delay is making me think I should have. Oh, come on, I just want to drive it up till the end with slightly. Oh, here we go again. Here we go again on my own. Exit. With my light smoke. You'd look at this and you'd think this. Surely this can go right up Chilea. And I'm telling you right now, I'm dubious. I don't know that it has the power. I don't know that it doesn't. The Mace is classically a bit down on power. This will be probably a quick video if it goes well, and a longer one if it doesn't. But at least you'll know. What was that's an off-roader, I think. We have a couple of those. Off rotors. Most of which are going to be faster than this. Now, is that the one I just did? Oh, no, wait, is that. That looks too tan. There you go. That one, you see, it's not slammed. That's, that's the Merriweather Mesa. I don't know that that's upgraded. So we're going to go with the green one. Alright, let's see. It bounced before the jump, and then just did not land well. It's got a snorkel. The snorkel's out of the water. The snorkel is meaningless. Okay, this time we almost made it. Looks like we almost made it. 
Come on. It does not jump well. <laughs> Alright, so we have a minimal chance. Let's kick it off that way. Might be the best approach overall. Let's kind of go off the edge there. Wow, it doesn't like bushes. We're going to find out if it likes trains. Not much to say. It's just driving along and it's we've outpaced the train, so now the interesting part happens. I took that very cautiously because I felt like if I took any speed in the train it would just eat itself to the left. It would just crash. This is not encouraging. I feel like I got no engine RPMs here. And it really gets slowed down by bushes. That's never done that before. Let's look backwards. That's, this is not going well. Remember, the habanero went right up here. Come on. Okay, this is turning into a disaster. Can we work it up here? Got no torque. All right, that was uh, a wobbly and unpowered sad affair. Can we go around it enough to get up on the trail? Whew! Still, Habanero is better. Not the best. I had to really work at that to get it up here. If you got one of these, take the trails. Take a different route. Not that one of these will show up in traffic in a regular Jeep, right? How many of them are regular now nowadays? Anyway? All right, come on, mountain go this. There you go. And this one's all turboed up and everything. This doesn't have the gumption. There's not a lot of gumption in these. Not a lot of brakes either. Bouncing and floating and spinning and crashing. Just threw it in reverse to try to get it where I need it to be. We're not quite there. Full yeet for the street. 
trees. Ow. It's a full yeet for the street. Full yeet for the street. Doesn't doesn't have a lot of crash damage on it though. Yeah, so okay, I think it right. The back is beat up. Not not a, a beefy motor though. This thing needs a beefier motor for it is. It's a bit of a pretender. If I, if, I mean, it did get up there, but I really had to work it side to side. It didn't just pull straight up the hill. Like you'd expect something that looks like an off-road monster to do. Not the off-road monster I'd hoped for. Really? Yeah, I'm just trying to drive and like I don't have too much to say about it. I mean I guess it's the kind of forgotten vehicle they could take off the website. I mean I'm more keeping it just because the paint's kinda unique. I think. Yeah, it makes a good agency de yard decoration here, a good garage decoration here. Oh yeah, that's the one we used that time, oh don't talk about it, you know? This is so much momentum going uphill. And depending on how many more bumps it takes, maybe a bumper. That could have been it. That could have been the hit that takes off the bumper. But well, we're gonna soldier on here. Part of the zombie doesn't like bushes. Do you think he'll like to like to jump? I'm gonna say no. Who said damn? Oh, that guy. The wheels bent. I've ruined my spare! I have bulletproof tires, so it's okay. Well, suffice to say, it's not gonna make it in snow, so we're not trying to... I barely made it. Did he die? Did you die? No. Then stop going. No, stop your one. Well, there you got it. No longer available for more stock. The military Mesa. The Merryweather-ish Mesa. I don't know if they're the same Mesa. They look the same. Probably are. Well, will Merryweather start driving something else? Not they can't buy that off the war stock side. Either. I don't know. I don't. No. Well, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.